Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rank in Google Maps using citations. I'm going to show you the six most important citations you must have. I know a lot of you are thinking, hey Brett, what's going on? You're losing weight. You look like Tom Cruise. I'm losing weight. Watch this! All right, guys, so I'm really excited because last week we were able to get our clients some great rankings. As you can see here is uh, Green Clean Ohio. They're a maintenance firm. We have a locksmith out in Canada who's killing it. We have a chiropractor, Los Angeles chiropractor, Stephen Becker. And we also have a home remodeler out in Brooklyn, New York, where I was born. So... I just want to go over all these rankings with you and show you how we did it. And today I'm going to show you how you could do it yourself. Guys, by default, Apple uses Apple Maps for their directions. So anybody that's using an iPhone for directions is going to use Apple Maps. Google relies on Apple Maps, even though they're competitors. So you want to make sure that you have your name, address, and phone number inside Apple Maps. In the next slide, I'm going to show you how to uh, connect. All right, guys. So when you type in mapsconnect.apple.com, you will see this page. Now, you either have an Apple ID or you need to create one. I had one and I forgot, naturally, I forgot the username and password, but uh, I was able to recover it and I'll show you the screen that you'll see once you either sign in or you create an account. All right, guys, so once you log in, you'll come into a place called My Places, and you'll notice that I have My Place already submitted. That's my uh, my citation, with it, which is MindSaw, and you just need to fill out this form, all right? Very, very simple. You just fill out the form with all your information, Put your hours. You could add your Yelp page. I did this years ago. So I'll probably want to, later on, I'll probably add my Yelp page. But it's pretty simple. Just, you know, fill out your information. Give them all the information that they need. Click Submit for review. And that's it. You're ready to rock and roll. So that's uh, mapsconnect.apple.com. Guys, the second one is Bing Places. So if you're an existing user, you'll just put in your Bing username and password. Or if you're a new user, you will select the button that says New User. All right, guys. So once you come into Bing Places, you will be able to fill out the form here on the left-hand side. I just made an edit and it's taking, so uh, I just didn't want to wait. So you will just be able to fill out the form. You'll be able to add your hours. You'll also be able to sync with your Google My Business, right? So um, that's something that you want to do. That's something you want to do. Make sure your address is correct. Make sure you fill out all the information. And let's move on to the third most important citation. I know a lot of people are saying the dreaded Yelp. Don't say Yelp. Yeah, but Yelp. You want to make sure that you have a Yelp listing because Yelp verifies to make sure that it's a real business by doing phone verification. Google uses this as a strong signal. So yes, you need a Yelp account. And I know half of you are saying, but they only keep my bad reviews. They don't, they hide my good reviews. I know that's part of it. I agree. I, I'm not happy with them either. But uh, you do need a Yelp account. All right. It's a strong signal for Google. If you want to show up in Google Maps, this is one that you want. So in the next slide, I'll just side show you how to uh, how to get in there. All right, guys. So just uh, log in to Yelp.com. Once you log in, you'll see a two buttons on the right hand side one says log in and the other one says sign up depending on if you've been a member before you'll log in or if you're brand new naturally you just click sign up and you could continue with Facebook or Google or with your Apple ID 
So once you log into uh, Yelp, you'll be asked to fill out this silly form. I mean, maybe I did it as a joke. Uh, I mean, really, you know, when you're not yelping, you'll be doing this. And uh, what's your favorite movie? It's, it's silly. Just fill out as much information as you'd like to fill out. But the most important part here is the location. Make sure that you put in your correct address. Now, you'll notice that my address here is 900 South Avenue, Bloomfield, New York. I could not change this no matter what I do. Now, you'll notice that when I try to edit it, it has my correct address, which is 900 South Avenue, Staten Island, New York, 10314. However, it shows up as Bloomfield, New York. So I'm just hoping that that section that I've lived in my whole life was called Bloomfield and I just never knew about it. And that's how um, Google and Yelp speak to one another and I'm okay with that. So I'm not going to go crazy about that. So uh, just uh, log into, into Yelp and make sure that your information is correct. If it's the first time that you're logging into Yelp, just fill everything out to the best of your ability. But the most important thing is locations. Hey, here's another thing. If you click friends, you'll notice that your friends are your Facebook friends. Yeah, that's another thing. Those are your Facebook friends. So if you need Yelp reviews, reach out to these people on Facebook. Like this fellow is my cousin, right? Reach out to the people on on um on Yelp, I'm sorry, I said, but reach out to your friends on Facebook and see if they'll give you reviews. See that? Because they have Yelp accounts. All these people have Yelp accounts. See that? All these people have Yelp, Yelp accounts. So definitely click this friends, find them on Facebook, and ask them if they wouldn't mind getting giving you a Yelp uh a Yelp review. The fourth one is Waze. Now, we're, we're not going to actually go through this process, and I'll, I'll tell you why, but I put a link in the description below that is an excellent tutorial as to how to get your business into Waze. It's just in the description below. I didn't do it. I found it on YouTube. It's a great description. The reason why I say that, because you did have to drove by or walked past the location that you're trying to add. So if it's a brand new business and, for example, you haven't been there yet, or if it's a lead gen site and you haven't been by that location, you're not going to be able to add your location to Waze. Now, naturally, if it's your business, you've been there a hundred times already uh, uh, just this week, and it's not going to be a problem. So you just uh, log in and you fill in the information. The rest is pretty standard, but I do have a video below that will walk you through the process. All right, guys. So the next one you want is here.com. And let me show you how to add your business to here.com. All you do is just scroll down to the bottom. Notice where it says, here we go map on the right hand side and see if your business is already added it may be added i just checked my business and let's see here we go and we're here and we're only a thousand miles away in a hot air balloon balloon because i'm located in uh, tampa that's where i live all right so this is the map and this is the citation that you want I am going to put a uh, YouTube video in the description below just in case you're not located in here.com and you need to add your business. I will show you, um, you'll just watch this quick video and it'll show you how to add your business. So the last one is called Patch. Patch is like a classified directory. If you know anything about Craigslist, it's kind of similar to that. But uh, we get some really strong backlinks from using Patch. So let me just show you what to do. It's very simple. Just click uh, log in. If you haven't signed up before, just click the sign up now button. You're going to come to the same place after you sign up 
which is a page that looks just like this. Go to the classified section and place an article in the classified section. Maybe you're doing a giveaway or uh, maybe you have a food drive on a Saturday or you know something to that effect. You have some type of event going on and you'll describe the event and then you'll add your name, your address, your phone number, and your website address, https www.mindsaw.com, for example. And then you'll conclude, you know, please show up between the hours of, you know, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. for the food drive, the clothing drive, the giveaway, whatever you're doing. That, by adding your address, that counts as a citation and patches a very, very powerful directory. So you just, like I said, just go into classified, add an article, and uh, make sure you add your name, address, and phone number. Guys, these are the six most powerful citations that you could do by hand. It shouldn't take more than two hours, you know, doing them yourself. If there's something that I could do to help you, I'll be more than happy to help you. My email address is brettmoletta at gmail.com. I also do coaching sessions. So if you're having a tough time, you know, getting ranked in the Google 3-pack and uh, you'd like for me to go over it with you, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and um, it really takes a lot of the, the guesswork out of it because I've been doing this for a really long time. I could kind of look at your account and show you uh, what you need to do to get ranked in the Google 3-pack. I'll be happy to do that. I usually do my uh, coaching sessions towards the end of the week, like on a Friday or Saturday. So if you're available around that time, you know, definitely let, let me know. These six citations you could do by hand and you could do them yourself, and it should only take a couple of hours, maybe two, three hours the most. Guys, I want to thank you very much for, um, for watching this video. Once again, the most important asset you have is your family. So please uh, kiss your wife, hug your kids, clean up around the house. Don't wait for you know, your spouse to ask you to do it, right? Be a, be a good be a good husband or be a good wife. And if you're listening to this and you're, you know, a, a budding entrepreneur, you're in your late teens, early 20s, help mom and dad out. All right, guys? All right, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.